Hi, I'm David the Bruce, and this is a visual Hollywood review of Destroyer, a remarkable film. We gave it a 12 out of 13 score. That's about as high as we ever go. It is a excellent film, and here are the reasons. First up, let's tell you what the film is about. It is about the moral and existential odyssey of LAPD detective Aaron Bell, who, as a young cop, was placed undercover with a cult-like gang in the California desert, with tragic result. When the leader of that gang reemerges many years later, she must work her way back through the remaining members and into her own history with them to finally reckon with the demons that destroyed her past. The movie, directed by Karen Kusama, and she also did a Girl Fight, Aaron Flex, and Jennifer's Body. And you'll notice that those major movies all have female protagonists, all have women heroes. Also kind of interesting, uh, Girl Fight, uh, she met her current husband. When she did Aaron Flux, she started dating him. And then around Jennifer's body's time, uh, she married him. Yep. <laughs> uh, he is the co-writer, incidentally, of this film. So I'm sure that she had some input about the script, although she's not given credit. What people are talking about, I mean really talking about, is Nicole Kidman. She's an Academy Award winner, a two primetime Emmy Awards, right? And five Golden Globe Awards. Wow. She is an actress who has stood the test of time. And this is her first time out with a movie such as this. And her transformation into the character is really astounding. That's what all the buzz around this movie involves. It's her performance. And, among others, it also has Tatiana Maslany. And I gotta tell you, She's one of my favorite actresses. I didn't know of her really until Orphan Black in 2013. That show ran for five seasons. And it's amazing. She plays five characters in them, all clones uh, of, of herself. <laughs> wow. It's just, so with each one, there's a different persona, uh, a different temperament, and she does it brilliantly. She is an actor among actors. Um, no one has given a performance like she did in Orphan Black. Uh, everything else pales. But she was discriminated against during the first year of Orphan Black. It seems that Canadians are not on equal standing as American performers. So awards and uh, recognitions were withheld from her solely on that prejudicial bias. Boy, and did the fans rail, yes. And they embarrassed these critics and film experts. So the following year, Tatiana began to get the recognition that she so well deserved. Currently, just for Orphan Black, she has a Primetime Emmy Award, a TCA Award, two Critical Choice Awards, 2013 and 2014, and as you might guess, five Canadian Screen Awards. They love their own. So there you go. And boy, does she deliver in this film. And now we come to Sebastian Stan. And he's been rather busy in recent time. Why, he's involved in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So anytime you have seen a Marvel superhero uh, film, you may have or probably did see uh, Sebastian Stan, who plays Bucky Barnes or Winter Soldier in the series. 
So um, this this film is a step outside of that box for him, and that's good. We have the Blechdel test, and that is, does the film have two named women who talk to each other about something other than a man? And the answer to that question is, yes, it does. And so we give it a score of three out of three. The Dugan's test, that looks at uh, at least two characters of color in the main cast. Uh, that, that is a story not about race. And the result of that is, is pass. Yes, there are two named uh, persons of color in the film. And then we have the female presence, the F-rated. And uh, this film does have a woman director. It's not written by a woman, although the director is married to the co-writer, so I think she had input. And it has significant women on screen. Boy, does it ever. The lead is the protagonist. So there we go. So we give it a score of two out of three which is excellent. It passes. Here's my review. A film noir lover's dream, female driven with Nicole Kidman delivering the performance of her lifetime and director Kasama giving us a super compelling crime drama about loss and redemption. The transformation of Nicole Kidman into the LAPD detective Aaron Bell is nothing short of breathtaking. It is a story of dealing with our demons, both external and internal. Excellent film. Bottom line, in witnessing Aaron Bell's self-destruction, we are forced to confront our own personal destroyers. And that really is the nature of story. They help us to know better who we are. By identifying with the protagonist, we, by proxy, work through those very same things that affect us. Bottom line, this is a great film. Primal Destroyers. Destroyer aims to uncover all kinds of primal destroyers. Money, greed, hunger, but will also reveal the insidious qualities of memory, denial, and even, oh, sadly, the passage of time, which never comes back. Oh, such destroyers of our lives. Dealt with. And then in the film, there's the daughter. Yes, Aaron Bell has a daughter and is increasingly at odds with her rebellious 16-year-old daughter Shelby, played magnificently by Jade Pettyjohn, from whom Belle is estranged. Her clumsy attempts to reach out to Shelby consistently backfire, and this is exasperating Belle's overwhelming sense of hopelessness and loss. She can't win for losing, I guess. Man, a tough place to be. The uh, story, according to the director, is really a parable. A bracing woman against herself story. A sustained how whose story, I hope, belongs to all of us. I like that. It's a woman against herself. Wow. Okay, messing up. Bell's consistently breaking rules. She's a bad partner and a bad mom. Even though she messes up, she keeps trying. Bell's character is written in a charismatic way, as a force of nature, so that when she's doing things that are questionable, you are hoping that in the end she'll be able to heal this wound that happened long ago. And that's from screenwriter Matt Manafredi. Yeah, we always identify with the protagonist, don't we, in film? Their struggle becomes our struggle. So, of course, we do have hope for her. Destroyer is, at its core, a film about confronting your mistakes and making the brave decision to be accountable for all your 
actions. Wow. And that's from the director. That's the geist. That's the direction. That's what the film is all about. I got to tell you, you will not be disappointed in this film. It will grab you and take you for a ride. You won't long soon forget.